We've been a little up and down with the temperatures this week, but this weekend we're all hoping for some sunshine, I hope. Yep, absolutely. 13 on your side, Chief Meteorologist George Lessons is on the weather deck to tell us exactly what to expect, George. We do have a lot of sunshine on Sunday this weekend. <laughs> Just not so much here tomorrow, guys. Uh, so kind of a half and half weekend. Uh, hopefully you can plan your outdoor activities around some rain that will be coming. We'll tell you when here in a moment. 13 weather ball is blinking bright because of the Saturday showers in sight. It's also blue, a little bit cooler weather in view. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. And around the region, on the lake shore, a little hazy. Some of these high clouds coming in. Further inland, we've got a little bit of blue sky up there, but at least it's warmer and it's dry. WZZM Beach Cam there in Grand Haven. We do have a lot of sunshine to start our day there. Look at that, beautiful. And the high clouds started coming in, a little bit of haze this afternoon. You still get sunburn at the lakeshore uh, despite those high level clouds. And the water temperatures are a little bit on the chilly side. Another view of the Grand Haven uh, Pier there. At 70 degrees right now, winds are calm. Uh, further up the lake in Montague, 75, looking beautiful there with just a light onshore breeze. One foot waves or less at the buoys offshore, right at the beaches there, virtually flat as you can see there. And water temperatures are generally in the 50s. There was 149 there uh, mid lake, but generally upper 50s to near 60. Had those high clouds come in this afternoon, kind of filtering that sunshine a little bit. This is the tops of these showers and isolated thunderstorms back to the west. It's going to be a while before we see those. Stationary front not moving very much, so we're going to stay on the warmer side of that through the early part of the week. Currently at 76 here in Grand Rapids with some 80s off to our west. Won't get 80s here tomorrow, but we'll stay in the 70s. And we see those rain showers starting to arrive here later on tomorrow afternoon. This is 8 o'clock in the morning. A kind of solid overcast. And then you can see the rain starting in the early part of the afternoon, maybe around noon at the lakeshore. And then most of the afternoon and evening will be raining. So everyone seeing at least some rain here on Saturday. The rain departs on Sunday. We get back into some sunshine. So a half and a half weekend here here in West Michigan. Next week, we're going to see daily chances of some showers all the way through at least a Thursday. We can see that on our 10 day outlook. Uh, not a lot here on Monday. Most of that will be late Monday night into Tuesday, lingering into Wednesday. And then we finally start to dry out later on next week. Long range outlook calling for cool temperatures to move into West Michigan after the brief warm up from the 6th through the 10th. Much of the Midwest, including Michigan under that and an equal chance for more or less rainfall during that five day period. Look for increasing clouds tonight, mid and upper 50s, warmer than the last two nights. Similar increasing clouds north around 53 to 54. Here in the greater Grand Rapids area, we'll drop down into the mid 50s. 13 on your side forecast. After the rain moves in Saturday afternoon, it will depart right around or just before daybreak on Sunday. The skies become sunny at 78 and more humid weather then. Later on next week, some afternoon showers on Monday all the way through next Thursday. Not raining all the time, but we're going to cool off towards the next weekend. Highs below our average high of 74 will be around 70 to 74. Well, yesterday was gorgeous. Today it looked gorgeous. It was a little toasty, but I thought it was still pretty good. And I'm, I'm really excited for summer personally. I really love it. Yeah, we're going to have to wait and see if we're going to get some summer like weather this weekend. George, what can we expect? I think we do have some okay. summer like we, uh, weather this weekend. May not start out summer like, but certainly early next week. Yeah, it's going to feel like summer around here. 13 weather ball tonight is blinking bright because we have some Saturday showers in sight. It's also blue, a little bit cooler Saturday in view. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. And this evening, if you are in the mood to walk the dog, this is Bella. I'm going to give you the green paw, Bob and Darlene. It's going to be a little on the warm side. We're in the mid 70s. We'll drop into the 60s this evening. Tomorrow morning, a little cloudier, but at least a little bit milder than the last couple of mornings will be in the upper 50s to near 60 with dry weather to start our day tomorrow. Not quite as much sunshine, especially uh, the latter half of the day. Today we had 9.3 tomorrow, 7.1 on the scale and winds are going to be up a little bit tomorrow. Nothing that you have to worry about, 
but enough to create enough green energy here in West Michigan. We had some high clouds come in this afternoon, tops of some dissipating showers earlier today off to the south. There are more showers along a stationary front across Minnesota. These will eventually get here, just kind of push in during the day tomorrow. But in the meantime, should be a great night. Should be great for sunset photos along the lake shore. This is the uh, overnight forecast. You can see the high clouds starting to thicken up. This is 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. You have an early tea time here tomorrow? You should be fine. It's in the afternoon. This is right around 2 o'clock when the showers roll on in, and this is by 8 o'clock. Yeah, it's going to be raining in most areas, a little heavier off to the south, but then by Sunday, all of the rain starts to push to the east, and we've got sunshine to end our day on a Sunday. With the clouds and showers around, uh, showers coming in a little bit later tomorrow, so we bumped our highs up into the low 70s, but upper 60s at the lakeshore. In fact, only mid 60s on the other side of the lake will be raining all day. And up to 78 on Sunday as that sun comes on out, and here it comes back into the 80s on Monday, a little higher humidity as well, and that'll add to some showers moving on through next week. More on that in the 10 day. Cool pool of air for for the uh, second week of June from the 8th through the 14th. That means we're not going to get to our 78, 79. It doesn't really look like a lot of summer that second week of June and an equal chance for more or less rainfall, but the higher chances for less rainfall back to our north and west. So that cool weather may be associated with some dry weather. Tonight will be dry, increasingly and thickening cloud cover, mid and upper 50s, light south southeast wind. Northern areas thickening clouds as well, low and mid 50s, comfortable night here in the greater Grand Rapids area. Overnight lows between about 44, 45 and 46. 13 on your side forecast. Rain in the afternoon through Saturday night, leaving us on Sunday, a sky's clear. Up to 78, a little more humid late in the day Monday, especially for Tuesday and Wednesday. That's when we'll feel the summer like weather low in mid 80s, but also daily chances of showers, maybe even some thunderstorms into Wednesday. And then the cool weather pattern settles in with a few scattered showers popping up on Thursday, kind of breezy to end next week. Highs will be around 70 and the low to mid 70s through next weekend. And Chief Meteorologist George Lessons joins us now from the weather deck. George, it's been beautiful the last couple days, but it sounds like I might need a little mini umbrella this weekend, perhaps. I think for at least a while tomorrow you'll need one, especially if you're going to be outdoors. I don't know why you need an umbrella indoors, but yes, we do have a chance of some rain here tomorrow. First day of meteorological summer. 13 weather ball tonight is blinking bright because of that rain arriving. And it's also blue. We have a cool Saturday in view. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. Warm day today, well up into the 70s. Warm spot, 78 in Holland up in Big Rapids. Uh, our average high is 75. We finally cracked that with 77 here today. That also matched our forecast high of 77. That's a bullseye two days in a row with that. And we are four days within our target range. That's a great way to wrap up the month of May as well. Nationwide, uh, most of the country is seeing a good weather along the eastern seaboard and out to the west. Some storms here in Colorado and New Mexico, and there's this little band of some rain and some showers that's very slow moving. That's what's going to bring us our Saturday rain here during the day tomorrow. Today we had plenty of sunshine we had some high clouds starting to move on in. That's a thickening up overnight tonight and Later on tomorrow afternoon, we'll start to see some rain move on in. You can see the clouds fairly thin this evening, but watch how the clouds thicken up. And this is daybreak tomorrow, so if you have a sunrise or an early morning tea time, you'll probably be okay up until about noon, 1 o'clock. It's starting to rain now at the lakeshore. This is 2 o'clock arriving here in the greater Grand Rapids area. And then rain throughout most of the afternoon and evening it looks heavier than it really is, but there could be up to a half an inch of rain with some impacts. And then that starts to pull away on Sunday. Lots of sunshine to start our day on Sunday. And then I think the rain is actually going to be well to our east throughout the day to on Sunday. And then we've got a little bit of a wetter weather pattern coming in later on next week, but it's also going to be warm to start the week. Here's the rain by two o'clock in the afternoon, just enough to wet the ground here in western Grand Rapids, but all ready uh, about a few hundreds to a tenth of an inch just to wet the ground along the lake shore and then by eight o'clock some spots from Holland southward could see a half an inch of rain quarter of an inch here in Grand Rapids and by the time it's all done here on Sunday about a half to three quarters of an inch this is going to be uh, I think a much needed rain we haven't had a lot of rain here in the month of rain month of uh, May 
it has been a little bit drier than usual. As far as daily precipitation next week, there's a chance late Monday night again through Tuesday and on Wednesday as well. But I think right now we're trending drier, but definitely cooler toward next weekend. This is the week three and four outlook. We've got this uh, a cool pool of air going to stick around through the middle of the month. Average highs are right around 80 to 82. I think we will see at least uh, temperatures that warm or a little bit cooler. And the storm tracks moving on into our area, so we have a higher chance during that two week period of seeing more precipitation. So tomorrow, dry start to the day, but afternoon rain around 70 north, low 70s down to the south, up to the north. You could expect afternoon rain moving in, low 70s before the rain moves on in. Here in the greater Grand Rapids area, dry start to the day, afternoon rain, temperatures between about 33, 73 and 75. 13 on your side forecast. Rain moves in, the clouds move out on Sunday, 82, a little bit more humid late in the day as some scattered showers roll in. On and off showers Tuesday into Wednesday when there might be some thunderstorms. That's out ahead of some cooler air. A lingering shower next Thursday, perhaps, and then breezy and cool to start the following weekend.